Welcome to my channel, gloomy and cold. Many people think of such epithets. When it comes to a neutral interior and grey shades, it seems appropriate for a study or bathroom with tiles under marble or concrete, but not for the living room. Is it so? Of course not. If you pick the right textures and arrange the accents, the grey living room will look very cozy, stylish and not at all gloomy. How to do it and what shades to choose in addition, we will talk in this video. Achrome matte refers to the basic shades, and for this some people love it, others are underestimated, classifying it as boring and impersonal. But it all depends on what variant of grey in the interior of the living room to apply and how to play. Why should it be used? This is a universal tone. Such a base allows you to quickly and pain, lastly for the budget to change the mood of the room, only replacing the decor and accessories. It is also easy to combine it with other colors. Unlike light and bright colors, it does not fade and does not lose its pristine appearance over time. In addition, dirt is not so much visible on it, both on dark and, conversely, on snow white surfaces. Grey curtains in the living room, as well as furniture, it is much easier to keep clean. Grey living room can be decorated in almost any style. Equally appropriate acre matte looks both in neoclassic and in scanty, not to mention modern trends and eclecticism. It is believed that it relieves fatigue and promotes relaxation. Color does not irritate and does not contribute to hyper excitability, but it will be easy to relax and restore strength in such a room. The interior of the living room in grey colours can look quite different, restrained, relaxed, even quite bright. It all depends on the chosen palette. The approach in this case is two. The first and main rule of any monochrome interior is the combination of shades. Due to this, it does not look boring. In this case, and the choice is large, the palette contains more than 250 tones of grey, plus black and white, the base. Pay attention to the game of warm and cold tones, light and dark. Such an interior looks especially effective in high-tech or minimalist style. But, it must be said, it is quite difficult to pick up the tones yourself. It is better to turn to professionals, especially if the experience in colorism a little or not at all. The monochrome technique includes the combination of prints. And it is not only about textiles, but also about upholstery. Today, there are no strict rules on the selection of colors, and one set is even considered a mauvais. The best solution is to choose several colors that organically combine with each other. If you are not confident in your abilities, take note of the following rule, one active print and neutral own. Active prints include contrasting plaid and stripes, animalistic and other abstract patterns. Neutral, those in which there are no clear contrasting solutions. By the way, metal looks equally well in monochrome interiors, yellow gold, reddish copper or white silver, to your taste. It can be metal details, a table, a lamp or accessories, including paintings, statuettes, various candlesticks and so on. Another technique is to play with textures. Everything is taken into account here, ceiling, wall and floor finishes, furniture and even textiles. If the walls are painted, matte, then the floor can be glossy. Effective look options with wood, and it does not matter whether it is light or dark. In general, such a mix is one of the most common among design solutions. An obvious trend today is the use of complex shades in the interior. What does complex shade mean? This is not a pure color, but one that has a mixture of basic, red, yellow and blue. As a result, instead of yellow you get mustard. Instead of red, Bordeaux or terracotta, the color of bricks, instead of green, olive. Instead of blue, turquoise or novi, and also here include beige and its various shades. The brightness of the color depends on the overall tonality of the range. But, since some of them are quite dirty, obviously the main question is, how not to turn the house into a solid dark stain? Start small. You can buy one accessory. For example, a plaid on the sofa, pillow, chair emerald or sunny yellow shade. By the way, pink and grey is one of the classic combinations. And you can choose not a light textile, but with texture, velvet, velour or tapestry. In such shades, fabrics look royal. Experiment with the gamma can be in a room of any area. Spacious only give more room for the realization of ideas. For example, you can brightly paint the ceiling or choose for one of the walls beautiful accent wallpaper with. 
A drawing or photo panel. Decorating a small living room, it is important to carefully choose the colors of the finish. As you know, light colors visually expand the space. It is also relevant for rooms with an insufficient amount of natural light. The rule is simple, the walls are lighter than the floor, and the ceiling is lighter than the walls. Grey colour due to the huge choice of shades is universal in terms of application. It is suitable for decoration, and for large furniture and accessories. Designers recommend choosing neutral colours for finishing out of time, because you will not change the wallpaper or flooring every year, which means that the large surfaces in the room should be non-irritating and suitable for different. Details, it is them that you will update according to the seasonal mood. For walls, it is better to choose lighter shades of acro matte, from pearlescent or classic grey to white und. The smaller and, or darker the room, the lighter an area you need to make the walls, so the space will visually look more spacious. Grey furniture is a stylish solution, which will also save you from the need to repair soon, because the bright sofa began to irritate. If you have chosen a monochromatic range, it is basically the only possible option to act within the shades of one color. If the palette is colored, large furniture of a neutral tone is good to balance the accent or simply colored finish. Or two complement white walls. Accessories are commonly used to set accents and add bright sports. But this is only a popular technique, not an immutable rule. In a classic, minimalist or urban interior, decor and textiles do not necessarily have to be colored much more appropriate look textured products in noble natural shades preferably cold and gray is perfectly suited for this role of course you can complement them and a couple of bright items contrast never hurts especially if the chosen color is already found in the interior such repetition makes the palette more harmonious and complete thank you for your attention don't forget to subscribe to my channel